Hi everyone, it's Mike here. It's Sunday, I'm having a day off, even though I'm sat in front of the camera, hence no dicky bow tie, and I've not done anything with my hair this morning. It's just all floppy because I've not done anything since I got out of the shower. Anyway, that's not the point. The whole point is that I'm doing a quick behind the scenes video today because I've received a couple of messages and emails from some well, from people who are very, very intrigued about my page protectors. Now, these are the pages that I put behind my pages in when I'm doing my videos. So my page protectors that, that stop me from getting paint, gunk and glue on the pages in the rest of the journal when I'm working on it. So what I thought I'd do today is just a very, very quick show and tell, show you exactly what these page protectors are and how easy they are to maintain and keep clean. So these are my very dirty, very well used, very well loved page protectors. Now, all they are, are some sheets of polypropylene plastic that I've taped together. Now, when I purchased these, they did come as one big sheet, which I've cut in half, just down the middle. It, that's the way that it was, it was purchased and they measure approximately 15 inches by, I believe about 12, so let's just go, yeah, 15 inches by, ah, 12 inches. So if you cut it right down the middle, then you end up with a seven and a half by 12, which is perfect for one of the small journals, such as that. So you can tuck that behind the pages and daub as much paint and glue and um, whatever onto your page without the fear of it getting onto the page behind it. Now, that's what I use for my small journal. Now, normally I tape the back up just here so that I can slide my pages down. So let me just grab some tape and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now, all I'm using is masking tape. So this is just standard decorators tape or masking tape. I'm just going to move my journal out of the way and then just bring that in. I have a little bit of a gap. So tear some off. And then just stick that down like that. And do the same thing at the bottom leaving a little bit of a gap. And I'll just curl that under. Now the reason I've left a little bit of a gap is that when you bring your art journal in to work on, you'll need, you'll need two pages together. So I'll grab two pages, slide it over, and then you can open up your art journal and work on that without the fear of getting anything on the back or on the page behind, because that's now protected, which is cool. And then when you're done, you can just slide it off, fold it up and put it away. Now, let's just put that out journal to one side and I'll just show you this as it is. Now, when it, this was purchased, it was purchased as a cutting mat. Now I bought a set of two or three of these in a packet from my local, um, well, from a local home decor kind of style store that had um, things for the kitchen, you know, utensils, that kind of stuff. And these were just very, very inexpensive polypropylene cutting mats for chicken, for beef, um, for whatever. And there was a different colour for each one. So you had one for fish, one for chicken, one for, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but because they're polypropylene, they, they don't tend to scratch when you when you cut them. Um, and they're very, 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 very thin, so you can cut them down the middle. But the other thing about it is because they're polypropylene and you're using paints on these and you're using Mod Podge or collage page or any type of glue like that is that it doesn't actually stick. Well, it does stick, but when you want to clean it, this is just a ranger scraper. Look what happens. So every so often, 
I will give the mats a bit of a spray and a bit of a clean and then I'm good to go again. They're very, very, very easy just to get rid of the majority of the gunk and funk that you have on your mats. So every so often, I'll just give them a bit of a scrape, a bit of a clean. That's not without really even trying. So if I've just got a baby wipe as well, so I'm running low on. And then just give that a wipe over, you'll see that the majority of that mess has actually come off. And just with a bit of a wipe, you'll probably be able to remove the rest and it will be back to new again. So these are, as I said, very, very inexpensive polypropylene cutting mats, flexible cutting mats for use in the kitchen. And then I can do that exactly the same thing to the other side. Just scrape off all the excess paint. It's great. It's very, very cathartic. It's like stripping wallpaper off a wall when it all just comes off in one go. without even trying. And then when you're all clean again, you can just take them back up again. And then you're off. So that is one of my page protectors. I'll do the other one later on. Now, this is the green one. So exactly the same thing again. You can see where I've been working on it. It all just scrapes off. It's all very, very, very easy. There's no rocket science. There's no magic involved. It's just a case of being able to just scrape off all the, the rubbish when you're done with it. And again, this one is taped on the back. Now, this one is taped at the position or at the right size for me to be able to use it in my big square 10 by 10 gel, as you can see. So if I open that up, a new page, drop that in, I know that my pages underneath are going to be protected. So the beauty is with these, is that you can make them the size that you actually want them. Because this is just decorative tape, you're just masking tape. There's no, like I said, rocket science about it. And again, when you're done with it, you can just take the tape off, clean, and then put back together again. That's if you want to clean them. Um, I know some people don't bother. And some people use um, disposable. So like deli paper or greaseproof paper, tissue paper, that kind of stuff. This is just my solution because it's always on hand. I can fold it in half, I can pop it in my bag, I can also take it when I'm doing classes or workshops, whether I'm teaching or taking part in. So it's just one of those really, really handy solutions. I know I'm not going to get mess everywhere and it's just perfect. Now, the other thing I could use is I purchased a while ago a, a notebook and it was just a, a ruled notebook with a spiral bound um, down one side. Now, it's made of the same thing as the mats, the polypropylene. This side is ultra, ultra smooth, but this side is slightly ribbed. And you can see the lines just there, look. If you can see it in the glare. And again, these are the perfect size for one of the small journals, as you can see. So this is also a nice little solution if you want something portable 
because you can, if you wanted to, tape that up or just have them as two separate and pop those in your bag as well. So that's my page protectors. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm actually going to go away and I'm going to finish cleaning these page protectors and I'll be back to show you how they look when they're clean. So we have before and after. Just with a little bit of elbow grease. So every so often you can just give them a bit of a clean and you're good to go again. Very cheap, very inexpensive and that's what I use for my page protectors. So there you go, that's my page protectors and you can see how nice they look once they've been cleaned up again ready to use another day. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. You can share the video with all your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of this video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now. Because I'm not going to get any work done today then. Am I? <laughs>